Welcome everyone. I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plates. Today I'm going to show you how to make pizza bombs. Many bundles of pizza goodness. Take your favorite flavors of pizza and we're going to roll them up into little balls of goodness. All right, if you're ready, go grab your favorite pizza toppings and let's put these together. I've got laid out the ingredients. We're going to be using mozzarella cheese. I've got a refrigerated pizza crust here. This is a 13.8 size package. And then I've got some Parmesan cheese back here, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, marinara sauce, any flavor you want. For the toppings, I've got pepperoni. I'm going to cook up some breakfast sausage here because it adds some really delicious flavor some peppers and onions that I'm gonna cook down with the sausage. And then I've just got some butter here and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that here in just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and saute up my peppers and onions first really quick just to kind of soften them up and give them some flavor. So I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of butter into my skillet here. Now I have this over medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add my peppers and onions and just get those going. Now, as they start softening up, I'm going to go ahead and add my sausage. This is a pound right here. I'm going to use my meat chopper to break up my sausage. As soon as I get this browned up, I'm going to bring it right back. Okay, my sausage, peppers, and onions are now cooked through and ready to go. So if you're cooking any other vegetables, just let them cool just a little bit while we start working on our pizza dough. I'm going to take my pizza crust. Now this is just a classic crust and like I said it is 13.8 ounce size. If you're making your own homemade pizza dough you can certainly do that also. So what we're going to do... <laughs> hey one finally popped. That one that scared me. <laughs> yeah I remember that as a kid. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't crust. had that happen in a long time. Okay, now I did pull this out of the refrigerator about 30 minutes ago to kind of let it get to room temperature. On your clean work surface, we're gonna roll it out. All right, I'm just stretching it. I wanna be able to get 12 circles out of here. Now you can use a rolling pin to roll it out if you like. I'm going to be using a three inch biscuit cutter or you can use the edge of a glass. You just want about a three to four inches and I'm just going to cut them out. And then we'll just re-roll the dough to get more. So the first thing you need to make sure you do is have your muffin tin ready. Now this is just a 12 count standard size muffin tin and I'm just going to lightly spray each tin. Okay, so I've got my biscuit dough here and I'm just kind of spreading it out just a little bit. Very little sauce. You want about one half of a teaspoon of sauce. What we don't want to do is hit the edges right here, okay? We want to keep that really nice and clean. So we're going to put some cheese on top. I'm going to take a pepperoni just kind of fold it, put that on top. We're going to put some sausage and peppers and onions on top. And then what you want to do is take your dough and bring it all together to the top. I don't know if y'all can see that happening. And just kind of pinch it at the top so it all fits like a little dumpling. <laughs> I'm going to call it a dumpling. All right, we're going to flip it over. I got my muffin tin here. I've already got one in there. And I'm going to place one right in to the other one.
we're going to go ahead now and make our butter mixture that we're going to put on top of our pizza bombs. So I've got four tablespoons of butter that I just melted into a small dish. Got a quarter teaspoon of some garlic powder and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning blend. I'm just gonna mix this together with a fork. Let's bring our biscuit bombs back over here and I'm gonna brush this on top of them. Coat them good. Gives it that nice garlic flavor. Mm. I've got some Parmesan cheese, and I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit on top of each pizza bomb. I've got my oven preheating at 375 degrees. Now I've placed my muffin tin on top of a sheet pan that has a lip around it, okay? We've got some oil from the spray on top here, and plus, you know, if the sausage is already cooked and it's got, you know, some oil in it, might come up over the edge of it. So just be careful and just put this on a sheet pan because, you know, last year I had an issue with that and I had open pizza bombs that were opened and the sausage grease and everything went over the edge and I didn't have a sheet pan and it caught our oven on fire. <laughs> so I'm closing these and we're gonna put them on a sheet pan, <laughs> okay. We're going to put these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until these are nice and golden brown and that dough is cooked through. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what these look like on the inside. I just pulled these out of the oven at the 20 minute mark. Nice and golden brown. I'm just going to place these on a plate right away. Okay, here's my pizza bombs. Let me show you the inside of one. You want to serve it with a side of marinara sauce. Nice and golden on the back side. Oh, look at that. Cheesy goodness. All your toppings on the inside. Let me take a bite for you. Mm, mm, mm. What are you putting in your pizza bombs? <laughs> Little bundles of goodness here. Mm. Nice and crispy on the outside. It's nice and soft on the inside. All of your toppings on the inside too. Mm. Perfect. For lunch, a dinner, and make two batches of these. Serve it up with a side salad or some garlic bread, whatever you like to eat with your pizzas. Perfect appetizers too. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one, you guys. I really had fun making these. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. And I'm on Facebook. I have my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com, with lots of recipes on it. Go check it out. Okay, I'll see y'all on the next episode.